Welcome back friends uh, in our last classes uh, in our last uh, three classes we have discussed about uh, jQuery selector uh, selector jQuery selector so in this class uh, we are going to discuss about jQuery chaining method so this is a very important uh, concept or future in jQuery uh, you can just remove this area uh, from here and uh, just save this and launch in chrome that will be remain the same and just we have some links here you can see there is no animation nothing and here inside uh, in this class we are going to discuss about something is called jquery chaining method okay so at first you need to go inside the dollar sign here or a basic syntax inside the jQuery as we are doing in our last previous classes. Inside the single quotation you need to just select uh, the li and you can just say on mouse click or mouse enter you can say here. You can say click or mouse enter. Mouse enter. And you can just run the function here function and open curly braces just come here inside the curly braces again you are just going to insert the basic syntax uh, round bracket fully stop or you can say dot again round bracket and semicolon here inside this uh, we are going to use uh, this selector and here after the dot sign uh, we are using fade out fade out attribute uh, control s to save and now just come here and refresh on mouse enter this should be fade out or invisible so not working well, let's check fade out so why this not working on mouse enter this should be fade out uh, fade out O U T O should be capital and U N T should be in small letter. Come here, refresh. Now we can see. So if you want to just fit in, you need to just uh, copy this. Control C and paste here. Fit in. You can just say fit in. Control S. Now come back here and refresh. Now we can see. Once it is going uh, fed out, then it's just coming back to fit in or just going invisible and then coming back, it is just becoming visible. So what is chaining method? So you can say chaining method, uh, you, you can call many, uh, you can say effects in one line you can call many effects in one line uh, so this is called chaining method you can call many effects in one line so this is called chaining method so if you just focus here uh, we have used uh, fed out in one line and fed in in uh, another separate, separate line. So if you, you are just uh, know how to use chaining method, so it will make you easy uh, just for you. You can just do this in one line of code. After this round bracket, uh, you can just uh, put a dot and you can just write here fed in again a round bracket. Just this all. Control S to save. Now come back here and refresh. Now you can see the same result. Fade on and fade in. Fade out, fade in. So like this, uh, you can just uh, do fade out, fade in. You can put a dot sign and uh, after that slide up. You can say slide up uh, with the round bracket and put another dot. You can say slide down, slide down, another round bracket, control S. Control S to save. Now come here and check the result. 
so you can see you can see so you can just use uh, many effects or many events just in one line so this card uh, you can call many effect in one line so this card chaining method C H A I. So like this, uh, you can just uh, create uh, or use many effect in one line. So there is one more attribute that you can use. Uh, for example, uh, I'm just giving one more example about chaining method you can use here. For example, instead of this, I'm just going to remove this. Uh, this one. Instead of this fat uh, out, we are just going to use fat two. Okay, then fat two inside the round bracket, uh, inside the round bracket. Here, uh, you are just using a comma uh, for just uh, separating two uh, properties. The first one is I am just giving 500 uh, millisecond. It means half second, and second one is 0.4. So you are just going to increase the opacity. Control S and refresh by just mouse ent entering. You are uh, going to increase the opacity. You can see 1.4. So once again, the opacity is increasing. So if you want to just uh, after increasing the opacity, you can just uh, bring it back on it is normal mode so you can just uh, after this round bracket you can put a dot we are using chaining method here again you are just going to write fed to then open a round bracket and you can just write here something like uh, 200 then a comma then one opacity should be 200 by one control s is the timing in this opacity control s now we can see. So the main concept is you must uh, understand the concept of chaining method. You can call when you are just calling many effects in one line. So this call chaining method. So this is the definition. Uh, you can just understand from this. Uh, I hope this is clear for you. You are understand. Uh, there is no confusion so just this helpful for you and just uh, we will come back in next class so till next class you need to watch the video and do practice have a nice time and see you